Hey guys, welcome back to Done With Depression. I have another video series of Starbucks getting sued and me getting a paycheck. So this one is over a 401k dispute and it is the case of Yabara versus Board of Trustees of Supplemental Income Trust Fund. So Y-B-A-R-R-A, -R -R -A, if you guys wanna look it up. But essentially, uh, they allege that Starbucks broke a 401k or Retirement Fund Act law that was um, in like the 30s or 40s or something like that and they got sued and they settled so got another check here it's, I know it's probably hard to see with the lighting but it is for 47 cents so they got sued again lost again and I got another measly 47 cents if you guys haven't seen the last video, I'll link it up here. But uh, this is the second lawsuit that I've gotten paid for. And it's been over a year of me not working at Starbucks anymore. So they keep sending them in the mail. This one didn't even have my updated address. And I updated it with Starbucks before I left. So I'm not really sure what happened with that. But even more comical is I got another one in the mail that there is another class action lawsuit, this being the third one since I quit Starbucks. And this one is about uh, store managers not being paid uh, for the time that they are using their cell phones. So there was like a paper that you had to fill out if you were a store manager and you took calls on your personal phone, at least in California, and you had to fill it out with how many minutes you talked on the phone and all of that stuff. And then you were supposed to get like a reimbursement for your phone bill. So kind of like um, companies pay mileage and things like that. This was supposed to be for your cell phone. So if you're taking calls, um, even if you're taking calls at work, but you're using your own personal phone, which I guess you wouldn't really be doing, but uh, I got a ton of calls when I wasn't working. Uh, even if I had worked previously that day, something would happen. They'd call me later in the day. If I was off, they would call like every single day off I had. Something happened and you're the store manager, so you're in charge and you got to figure it out. And my phone was like always being texted or um, someone would call me, stuff like that. So when I was there, we kind of knew that this was a thing, but they tried to kind of get around it by saying you could do talk to text. So talking on your phone, but having it text and then send it through email. And because it's through email and not directly through the phone, that that somehow would get around um, having to pay for your phone bill or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, how that whole thing worked but it seemed like that was the kind of loophole that we were aware of um, and I think we mostly just didn't do it because we didn't want to fill out all the paperwork and send it in and do all of that you had to like fill out the sheet and keep track of how many minutes were used and all of that stuff so it was more like a pain in the butt than it would have ever been worth but they are being sued for it and it's a class action lawsuit again and it's Anderson versus Starbucks Corporation. And it seems like it's just in California. I'm not really sure if there's other states that have this thing as well, but they sent me a notice um, to, you're automatically opted in, but the notice, if you'd like to opt out from the class action lawsuit, you can opt out of that. And it's basically just so that your personal information is not being used or whatever, but they're gonna send me another 47 cents. I mean, might as well let them use my information. God knows everyone on the internet already knows my information. So anyway, that one's it, 47 cent check. Make sure you watch the previous video on Starbucks got sued and I got a paycheck and maybe there'll be another one, who knows. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.